and Proclamation 1 states, we will specialize. So what does we will specialize mean? Well, to me, it means to pick a focus, just choosing one thing. And once you have that focus, it becomes the core of your business. So everything you offer is going to be revolving around this one thing. It's going to be the first thing you use to differentiate yourselves from your competitors in the marketplace. So this is a critical component to marketing strategy, brand strategy, business strategy. You must pick a focus. And when you pick a focus, this is really about choosing who, not about necessarily what you do, but what you do for someone else. It's all about the who. Next, how should I use this? Is the next question I usually ask myself. So in order to use this, you got to use, I chose to use this in my own business to become an expert in the craft of my choice. For me, that's going to be workshops and facilitation. Uh, This will be the foundation for my business. And that's what my focus will be. Now, who will my focus be on? As of now, it's creatives, creative entrepreneurs just starting out. How do you position yourself? Uh, So I did it like a step-by-step here. So first, you choose your focus by planting your flag and taking a stand for or against something. Um, This is very common in brand strategy. The moment you stand for something or stand against something, you are making a statement. And then by doing so, you will attract people who agree with you and repel people who do not. You must articulate that focus with a consistent claim of your extra expertise with just a relentless amount of content. It could be written content, blog content, video content, social media content, podcasts, essentially just restating what you believe over and over and over and over again and giving examples of why you believe this and how to do it. And last, continuously work to improve, to gain the skills and processes or systems that's necessary to support what you said. It's a never-ending process. It's always continually doing what you do and iterate, 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 iterate. When should I specialize or when should I use specialization? I put here, I will use this at the first stage of any business for myself or my clients. Because as I mentioned earlier, this is the foundation of your business. If you don't necessarily know who you are serving, then that means you become a generalist and which goes against the entire proclamation of we will specialize. Because the point of specialization is to get so far down on this one little thing that anyone who's looking for that type of service for those type of people will come to you and no one else. Uh, Next, why should I choose a focus? Now, this is a very important one. You should always answer why. I put here, I will choose a focus to become an expert in a craft of my choice, also to place my brand in a position of power to claim a higher price and desire. The main benefit of this is essentially to differentiate yourself from the rest. If I'm known as the WIC workshop wizard for creative entrepreneurs, how many others are out there doing that? I'm sure there's a handful, but not many. Versus saying, oh, I just do remote workshops for everyone. That way it's like, oh, well, then there's a million of us. Maybe not a million, but at least thousands. Uh, Another example would be, for instance, one of my clients. Oh, we're a screen printing business. Okay, well, how many screen printing businesses are there? Tons of them. But then you say, oh, I'm a screen printing business for uh, restaurants. Yeah, okay, it's a little better, but there's I'm sure there's still plenty of screen printing businesses who also do restaurants. And when you have lots of competition, most likely your clients will be shopping on price and not looking at the value. Now, if that same screen printing business says, we do screen printing for established restaurants with at least three to five locations with a well-defined brand who want to have a new revenue stream of creating merchandise, that's what we do. Now it's very more specific. Now you've narrowed on that field of restaurants. Like, okay, if you don't have three to five locations, you're gone. Now we have this little mark. Now you want to actually make merchandise, selling t-shirts or hats or whatever to basically have an extra revenue stream for your brand. Now it's very specific or even more specific. We only do merchandise for pop-up restaurants. Wow. That's how many screen printing businesses do that? I don't know. But the idea is to be very specific. The more specific, the better. Now, there were a few unanswered questions, which I had here, uh, which I'm still thinking about. Is there a need 
great enough to sustain our efforts and nurture them. So this is the next step after you choose your focus. This is where market research comes into play. Just because you chose a niche, for instance, again, going back to the example, we are a screen printing shop for pop-up restaurants who want merchandise. Now, you must research those pop-up restaurants and pop-up restaurant owners and talk to them to understand that they even have the funds to purchase in regards to basically they have the funds to create t-shirt merchandise, hat merchandise, whatever they want to get screen printed. And if all their efforts and finances are tied up into their pop-up and they don't have any side income to create the merchandise, then it's not sustainable. Then you know that niche might be a little too far, so you have to change to something else. Now, if you're going back to the example of restaurants who have three to five locations, I mean, I'm sure they have some money to invest into merchandise. Whatever you choose, there must be a need big enough for your services. If it's not big enough, then you will not be making revenue and it's not sustainable for your business. And you must be able to nurture them as well, meaning to help them grow even beyond. Next, how do you determine the needs? And how do you know what to focus on? You have to have conversations. It is a must to get out there and talk to the people and understand what it is they need. Because what you believe they need versus what they tell you can be two different things. What they tell you they need may not also be true. Therefore, there's a lot of research analysis and synthesis that goes into it. The best thing is literally to have conversations. If you're going after those restaurants, find out who those restaurants are. Start calling them up and asking them, hey, can we have a 15-minute chat? I would love to talk to you about your current obstacles and how you overcame them. What obstacles are you seeing now? And just what are you needing right now? Therefore, you can better serve and see if what you have to offer could even solve those problems. Because if what you offer does not solve who you want to serve, then there's no point. You have to shift. Uh, and that becomes the next question. How do you know what to focus on? Same thing. You will know what to focus on once you have these conversations with people. If you don't have these conversations, you're just taking a shot in the dark and you're guessing. As you create content and you iterate, iterate, you'll see which ones resonate with people the most based on engagement and feedback. And those are the ones you want to focus on. So conversations and doubling down on your social engagement on the pieces of content, which generate the most feedback. That is going to cover chapter one of We Will Specialize.